hey guys welcome back to my channel so in today's video we're going to be doing two looks so i'm gonna actually start with a little skin prep this is lineage uh, cream skin toner and moisturizer my face has been doing a weird thing where it's dry but i also have acne so it's like okay um What's the point? This is my face. I love this look. So then I'm gonna go in with this Frasali liquid glass. This is really good for priming. It leaves like your skin very dewy, but also like tacky. Go ahead and fill in my brows. So this is the palette. I'm really excited about digging in this one. Um, I already opened it. I'm sorry. I'm really. I was really excited to get it. First of all, the weight of it. Like you're thinking, oh my god, it's 125. It seems like a lot of money, which I understand. But at the same time, the weight is totally there with that. Um, also, the mirror on this is super nice. It's like a gym, like concave type of mirror. I'm gonna take this off actually. Look how big. This is lovely. This is like, I'm actually really excited and really happy about my purchase. I regret nothing. Um, on this the little card that says all the names and stuff on it. My first thing I want to mention about this is this doesn't have any um, tra uh, transition shade. So I will go into a different palette. I'm going to go into the Morphe 39A for one of my favorite browns. So I'm going to go in with a Sigma Tapered Fresh. And I'm going to go in with Extreme Burgundy right here. I think I'm going to like focus this mainly on my lower crease. And just sweep. Until I build up that color. And what I like to do is sometimes... With this palette, I see that there's some fallout, which is why I put, you know, a powder under here. But for the most part, with with all palettes for me, um, I like to go in over time building up color. Like in my previous makeup videos, you, I got I told you guys that. So we're going to do that with this palette as well. So I'm just going to go in. Each time I said I'm picking up so much product, it's all going to get blended away. I do this step. I think I'm gonna take Eleganza. This one is, and I just poked it. <laughs> I'm gonna take Eleganza. This one is a, a described as a creamy sh uh, shimmer. So let's see. This shade is absolutely insane. Wow. This one is called Divine Dusk. It is a little bit darker than that one. So I think I'm gonna go and let them both meet here. So I'm gonna take it here and kind of merge those colors together. Whoa. It gives it some dimension, like the dimension is there. Wow. The proof is in the palette. There's nothing really to add to it. I mean, it's gonna speak for, for itself. So, I went ahead and started adding this shade with a focus like blending brush. And I went and smoked everything out with that. I'm not sure who asked me, but I can't stop. Yes, people are still shooting firecrackers. Can't tell you why. 
Um, can't tell you how, considering it's still daylight. Nothing, nothing makes sense. I think once you decide that everything from like henceforth will not make sense, then you'll be able to get through the rest of the year. I'm just showing up. I'm trying to work on my passions. I'm trying to make sure I'm physically, mentally healthy. And I'm just letting everything else just... Oh, aliens coming back? Not a big deal. What? This one is referred to as a naked blush. And I just popped that and smoked everything out with that. It's like sitting right there. Just... That's it. The shade that she recommends to like your brow bone. And I'm actually popped that directly under. Like as tight as I could right up in there. I like to always blend it out with my shade. Because uh, things get real yellow. Real fast. Real, real light. And I'm not that light. So I like to go in with my shade. Kind of blend everything together. Okay. I'm so happy how this eye look turned out. It's just, it's giving me life. Okay, so now I'm going to get into lips. All of the packaging is very, like, meticulous. You can tell there's a lot of effort that went into it. Oh, wait, something's in here? A sharpener! Pad's gonna be convenient if nothing. Ooh, that is such a nice brown. Whoa. Nope. So this one is a pink. So I got the color Soft Core, which is a pink lipstick. And then I also got the Lust Gloss and Peach Perversion. Okay, so now I'm going to go in with this shade. Ooh, that is very different. Hmm. Gloss. Oh my goody. I'm just putting a little bit in the center. I'm not even gonna go ham with this. This applicator goes crazy. Like, this applicator is insane. Like. And that's the lip. I would never go on pink on pink, just me. But uh, for the sake of this video, we're gonna do that. Wow. I love that. Eee! I love how this look turned out. Should I put on my crown now? I definitely bought a crown for this video. And you're asking yourself, were you planning on wearing that this whole video? I definitely was, but uh, it will not stay but it's just like don't talk to me or my pet hold on don't <laughs> this look is complete this is the full beat this is the full pat mcgrath i feel i really want to go for a d and g look for this video like vibes because one of my personal favorite uh uh kind of like runway shows that she's personally worked on was D D Dolce Gabbana and I thought I would pay like a little homage to that like that type of vibe oh we're definitely yanking out my hair and segueing into that I chose to obviously I have to do fragrance for this video everyone is so surprised but I have to do fragrance for this video um this on my head so obviously because of that hold on before i talk my crap obviously because of that dng is obviously the fragrance and full i love when things are full circle not only does this fragrance it's just like queen like royalty that girl it girl this is then the full circle thing about it is um naomi campbell was there to uh bring out this campaign uh with pat mcgrath but she's also 
the this particular because they all have they have different num uh, numbers but she was also in the commercial in the advertisement for this dng campaign as well and it's just i love when things are full circle like that so i'm going to obviously end the video i'm going to put the notes on the screen this one can be both like a super like sexy night fragrance but also for me this is daytime it smells very sweet but not in like an off-putting, like it's so strong, my eyes are burning, it's just too much, I'm gonna vomit. I'm sorry, this hat, this thing has taken over my life. But this isn't one of them. This is the fragrance to complete this whole look and now I feel like it's all, all together. Um, so that is it for this video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Hopefully it was helpful to you, some of you got out, guys out there. This also has two looks in it. Okay, so we're gonna start with our super, super quick eye. Um, I'm going to tightline a little bit with this Urban Decay just right here. And I have a lot of powder on because <laughs> it is hot. Hot as hell in here. Um, so bear with me. I'm going to also take this and put this only right here of my eye just to get some brightness. I'm so excited to use this mascara. Okay, so this palette right here with this color. I'm going to just basically focus this primarily right here at the edge and then flick it a little bit out and focus it more on the actual lid. And of course, this is the Pat McGrath powder that I have all over me. I need to buy another one because I've only used it in a couple videos and it's almost gone, which is funny. So, so I'm going to go in with my Well Love Pat McGrath palette. I'm going to take this shade on the same brush. I just swirled it around. Uh, and that color changer thingy my bob and so i'm going to take this and kind of right over it i'm going to take this shade right here and i'm going to basically just draw a bootleg wing right here look it out and then focus it here, drag it on my eye. Take a little bit of that shade, and then right here, I'll try to show you guys while doing it at the same time. The natural. I'm just like, as soon as I realized that she was coming out with more, I knew I wanted to like wait and do the mascara too. Um, so. Now I'm going to take just like a regular, this brush came with the It's My Ray Ray palette. It's very detailed. Um, so I'm going to take this out and I'm just going to like basically blend, blend this out. Okay, and now we're going to try the mascara. I already like did my lashes. Oh my god. Okay, I will say this. It does come out a great deal. Like there's like a big glob on here. But I will say, if you're doing just like the like skirt through method, it does give like super thick. yet super like doll like lashes does that make any type of sense like there's no clumping whatsoever like we're not clumped <laughs> so this is the finished look with the mascara and this resumes my to Pat McGrath looks for the Divine Rose and Mascara Collection. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Hopefully it was helpful to some of you out there and I will see you in my next one. Bye!